Hello friends, how is it going? It's me, Betty Jean. I am very excited. I'm gonna be playing with the new Ensley Rain Groovy Garden Collection. We have a palette, we have singles, we have loose shadows, we have lip products. We have a whole slew of things and I'm going to be doing swatches of everything, close-ups. I'll be creating a look for you, all the fun things. Ensley Rain, thank you so much for sending this collection my way. This video is not sponsored. I'm making it on my own free will, but I did receive it from the brand, so big thank you to them. This collection is launching on February 27th at 10 a.m. PST. I will have the launch details down in my description box if you need to reference them. And I do also have an affiliate code with the brand. You can use my affiliate code, Batty Bean, to save on their sites. And I appreciate it so, so much if you use it. But anyways, I don't want to babble too much longer. I really just want to jump in, talk about the products themselves. Um, my accessory details before we get into it though, this necklace is Ana Luisa. This ring is from Regal Rose. This is just a wig off of Amazon and this is a Neff Brambini. And even though my nails are looking kind of chipped and kind of scary, this is a uh, high fructose from Mooncat. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and talk about all of the things in the Groovy Garden collection. I guess we can start with lips first. We have three different types of lip products. We have a gloss, a lip lacquer, and a lip oil. The shades are Bell Bottom Bloom, Far Out, and Glazed and Confused. I have at this point already filmed a little lip swatch video for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. It should already be up by the time this video goes up, but if not, it's coming very soon. Um, so I will, I have some thoughts already, but I will give you those thoughts at the end of the video. I do like that they went the route of doing like three different types of lip product. But I will say I do like some better than others, and I will just leave it at that for now. We have four loose shadows. These are so sparkly, so beautiful. I've tried multiple loose shadows from the brand at this point, and I really enjoy them. I feel like they're messy in the sense that they are a loose shadow. Like, it, it's bound to be a little messy, but they're not the most messy ones I've ever used. I feel like the little component that they use keeps everything tucked in nicely, which I do very much appreciate. The shades are Bell Bottom Bloom, Mellow, Retro Rainbow, and Sunset Sienna. These are so super pretty, and I'm really excited about them. I'm really specifically excited for Bell Bottom Bloom. I think this color is just absolutely gorgeous, which I guess matches the name of the gloss. I just now realize that they both share the name Bell Bottom Bloom. <laughs> we also have five singles to go alongside the collection as well. I think these are super pretty. I'm happy to add these to my singles collection. I've tried multiple single shadows from the brand at this point. I feel like the quality is always really nice. They're always really shifty and beautiful, and I'm really excited about these in addition to the palette itself. The shades are Far Out, Flower Child, Flower Power, Groovy, and Mellow. I didn't play with any of these today specifically, but really all of these kind of catch my attention because they all have really pretty shifts. I'm really excited about them. And of course, the star of the show, we have the actual Groovy Garden palette as well. They went a different route with this one. We still have 21 shades, which is typically what they do. It's not always an absolute, but they tend to do the 21 shade format. But usually it's two rows of shimmers and one row of mattes. This time they did two rows of mattes and one row of shimmers, which honestly, I kind of like because I feel like their shimmers are so shifty and beautiful. And sometimes it's overwhelming to know which ones to use. So having it curated down a little bit more is really nice. And the fact that there are less of the shimmers does make this price point a little lower. So that's really appealing as well. I think this color story is drop dead gorgeous. This is so much a up my alley, grungy, neutral vibes with a twist. I don't even tend to reach for like warm tones very often when it comes to like the more neutral end of things, but this is warm, neutral-ish done really, really well. I love that we have the combination of like the grungy, orangey, mustardy things. We have the plums, we have the pinky peachiness. Love the pop of weird sagey green. And these shimmers are all so cool. I feel like it all complements itself really, really well. And I think this is just such a fun like color story for kind of a groovy retro theme. I think it's very, you know, 70s, like shag carpet, weird pops of color, grungy mustardy shades, stuff like that. I think it's such a cool palette. I'm really excited to play with it more. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I did uh, film this look you see right here, and I do plan on doing an additional look with this over on like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts. So stay tuned for that. If it's not already up, it'll be coming very soon. And yeah, I think I've said it all. Let's just hop in now and play with the products create the look and I will report back and give you my thoughts on the collection at the end. All right, friends, we're gonna dive into the Groovy Garden palette. I'm very excited, especially because it's been a few days since I filmed. I was just in Montana visiting my best friend, so I'm excited to be back and diving into some new makeup. Um, this is beautiful. I definitely wanna play with like these mustardy tones down here with definitely a pop of these like weird greens um shimmer galore it's gonna be a fun time i'll probably use one of the loose shadows as a highlighter um the retro rainbow one i think could be fun um but i'm gonna do that at the end i don't want to get 
glitter everywhere. <laughs> and then um, obviously I have three lips. I'll probably film a little lip swatch video with these for like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts, which should be up by the time this video goes up, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but then I'll pick my favorite for the end of this video, of course. So yeah, let's uh, let's do the thing. I'm gonna prime with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. I'm gonna smear it on and blend it out. How's it going? What's new with you? How's your February been? Have you done anything fun? Anything exciting? Um, has it just been a chill month? I would love to know. So let me go ahead and start with Earthy Ember right there. Just a really pretty kind of yummy terracotta situation. I'm gonna use my Luxie 207 for this. I'm just gonna kind of pounce this in that very outer corner of my eye. Ooh, yeah, it's a good color. I love a grungy mustardy brown like this. It's like been one of my favorite things for a long time. In makeup, in clothes, all the things. I'm just kind of really stamping it heavily all in that outer area, lower and upper. Kind of sort of something like that. All right, let's blend it out a little bit more with Good Vibes. Just gonna use a ColourPop E2 for this. And again, just kind of keeping it concentrated to this outer half. I'm just gonna kind of start swirling this all around that first shade. I'll kind of dip in and add more as needed. Just sort of something like this, just to get it a little bit more diffused and grungified. I love this combo, like the mustardy tones. It's so pretty. So I do think I want to deepen up just a smidge. I'm going to grab Dig It right here, just using a little ColourPop E27 pencil brush. And really, I'm just going to tap this kind of like right on the outer like little chunk by my lashes, kind of almost making like a smoky liner situation. Just enough to kind of add some more depth before I start going in with a bunch of shimmers in a bit. I'm gonna do the same kind of like right on this outer part of that lower lash line as well. And then I'm just gonna kind of go back down the line. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Earthy Ember and just kind of very lightly do little taps just to kind of smudge out that dark shade just a little bit. And of course, just a little bit more of good vibes just to kind of finish off that blend. I'm gonna be taking a combination of Peace and Sage Serenity. I think I'm actually gonna start with Sage Serenity, the lighter one. I'm gonna use my Singe E02. And I wanna just really pile this in the front little part of my eye. I only grabbed a little bit. I definitely need more than that. Um, and I wanna build this shade up and kind of just get a little pop of this weird kind of sagey color. It's super cool. I really like these weird off greens. I think they're pretty. Honestly, where was this palette when I was filming my favorite neutral palettes with a twist video recently? Um, this would have been great for that video. And with my E04, just grabbing a little bit of that other shade. And I just want to tuck this kind of like right in my crease a little bit. I'll drag it out a little bit but this is just gonna add a little bit of depth to what I already did in the front. Just gonna kind of blend this out some more with Sage Serenity again, just getting kind of a weird blown out situation in the front of my eye. Really like the way that offsets all of the orangey tones. I think that's really pretty. Okay, I think I'm ready to move on to shimmer. Um, in my heart of hearts, I think I want Lava Lamp just smeared everywhere. I think that might be kind of cool. Um, and I might end up doing like a white graphic liner just to kind of separate the green with that really vibrant like multi-chrome orangey situation so we'll just see i'm gonna start though with my next glitter primer just gonna grab some of this product i always use a glitter primer just in case you're new here i use some form of glitter primer with every shimmer ever just helps everything stay put and pop really nicely i'm just kind of focusing this on like the mobile it itself now i'm gonna grab lava lamp oh that's just such a cool color yeah I'm excited about this. Ooh, that is so pretty. That is so, 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 so pretty. Wow. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I'm happy with this decision already. I just love this boldness. And I really like the, the weird greens and contrast. I think it's such a cool combo. This multi-chrome is so pretty. It's so smooth. And the way this is shifting in all my different mirrors that are in front of me, this is really cool. Just gonna kind of make sure that is fluffing nicely as we get to the outer part of my eye, blending from matte to shimmer nicely. And I'm just gonna make sure the front is blending good as well. What if I did just a smidgen of vintage vibes on the lower lash line? I don't know, I'm just thinking maybe. I'm just gonna take the pencil brush from before, but I wiped it off first. Let's just pop some of this down here, why not? Let's just lean into all the shimmers. I did say shimmers galore for this look, and I was not kidding. 
there's just a lot of pretty shimmers going on. So I wanted to make sure I incorporated as many as I could and use the shade Moonchild for the inner corner. And after I get this laid down, I'll do my little graphic liner that I was thinking of because I think that'd be a cool addition still. But I wanted to get the look kind of where it was because if you feel like recreating this, you don't have to. But I do like a graphic liner situation. I think it's fun. This uh, shimmer is fun. This would actually make a beautiful face highlight as well. But I'm going to I'm gonna not. <laughs> I'm going to just use the loose one so I can use some more of the products in this collection. Mm, I really like that. It's super fun. I'm just gonna use this Game Beauty liner. It's from the Persona 5 collab. It's called Crow. It's always hard for me to do this on camera, but I'm basically just gonna start by that inner corner and just kind of do a little flick upwards, just kind of creating a little bit more separation between the orange and the green. Um, even though I love the way it looks combined, I think it would just add a really cool distinction. Kind of sort of something like that, actually. Yeah, I think the, the white liner just added something super cool. Just kicked it up another notch. I love it. All right, let's do some face highlight with the Retro Rainbow Loose Shadow. Obviously, if you don't like sparkle, don't use a loose sparkly eyeshadow as a face highlight, but I love it. I think that's super fun. Mm, this is really pretty, too. There's so many pretty just like rainbow sparkles in here. I mean, I guess Retro Rainbow was a good name for this uh, shade. And just a smidge into the nose as well. I really like the rainbow shift that exists in this loose shadow. That's really pretty. So now I'm just going to finish up this look. I'm going to film that little lip swatch video with the three lip options and I will pick my favorites. I'm going to put on my liner, lashes, all that good stuff and I will be back when I'm complete. And here is the final look. I really, really like how this came out. I just ended up popping a white eye pencil in the waterline just to kind of complement the graphic liner. I also ended up not going for false lashes today. I was just kind of feeling a mascara vibe once I applied it. And then all these lips were cool options. I feel like these two just didn't really match what I was going for. So I did go with the gloss, the Bell Bottom Bloom gloss, but I did put a lip liner down first. It's the Freck number five, um, pretty much covering the entirety of my lips with this over top of it. I really liked the shift in this. I felt like it really complemented what was going on in this inner part of my eye. Uh, so yeah, this is the look. I really hope you like it. Let's zoom out and I will give you my thoughts so far on the collection. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate you hanging out and spending time with me and just being here means the world. Let's talk about the products. Can't really say much about the singles just because I didn't technically use any of them today, but uh, I imagine they're beautiful. I've used Ensley Range Singles before. I think these shades are really cool. I think they offer something a little different than what the palette itself offers while still staying on theme. I did use the one Retro Rainbow Loose Shadow as my face highlight, and I think it's so beautiful. Like, what a cool sparkly situation. Really excited about the other three, like I mentioned in the beginning, um, Bell Bottom Bloom this weird chartreuse one. This is definitely speaking my language. I think they're beautiful, they're sparkly. It's a really cool product and it's not something I use all the time necessarily. I don't go out of my way to always reach for like loose shadows, but I feel like these are done really well. I like the components, I like the colors, they're really pretty. The lip products, like I said at the beginning, I have some thoughts on these because I did obviously film my lip swatch video with all three of these that I've mentioned already. Um, I love the gloss. I think the gloss is pretty. The one I'm wearing right now, it's pretty by itself. It's pretty paired with a lip liner. Really like this gloss. I think it's, I think the shift is pretty. I think it's really comfortable. It's really cool. Um, I like it. No complaints there. The lip oil. This is weird. This is not what I was expecting. At this moment, they haven't posted like specific details about the lip products on their Instagram page. So I don't know the full details, but in my opinion, I think this is supposed to be one of those lip oil stains that kind of changes with the pH of your lip because you'd think this would be a sheer sparkly orange. No, no, no. This made my lips like bright pink, like bright, shiny pink. I could not believe how pink they got. And really like I at first applied it like in the center and like the center of my lips was super pink, but the outside was still kind of like my lips. So I had to like specifically make sure I didn't just like like rub my lips together. I had to actually apply it so it would be an even coating. And the texture is really nice. It's a really nice kind of nourishing, oily feeling, but it's just not the color I was expecting. It is pink, pink. And when I wiped it off, and I think I only had it on like a minute because it was just enough for the lip swatch video, um, I still had a bright pink stain. Partly why I went with the lip liner for this gloss, which I love the combo of this like grungy brown lip liner with that gloss. Um, but my lips were pink, pink when I took it off. So 
not to say that's a pro or a con, maybe that's what you want is something that can stain your lips and kind of last really long. This is gonna be your, your product, but don't expect this to look orange. At least it didn't on me. It looked bright pink on me, just so you're aware. And then the lip lacquer in Far Out, I don't like this. I didn't like the texture. It was very like, felt like a really thick, opaque gloss, like very creamy, very kind of gloopy. Wasn't my favorite color on myself. Probably paired with a lip liner, I'd like it more, but like sometimes when peaches are like a little too bright and opaque on my skin tone, it just looks a little wrong. Something looks a little off. I think if I paired this with a darker lip liner, I would feel differently and maybe used a light amount of it and just kind of like dispersed it. But using it just like full on, it was a little uncomfy in my opinion. It was a little too thick, a little not my vibe. So this is my least favorite of the bunch, uh, but I really, really like the gloss. The gloss is absolutely stunning. And of course we have the Groovy Garden Palette. I am loving this so far and I really wasn't sure how I would feel about it just cause like I mentioned at the beginning, I don't always gravitate towards like warm tones. Like I do love like a grungy brown situation, but beyond that I tend to prefer cool tones, but this one pleasantly surprised me. I feel like it was pretty in pictures when I saw it like revealed. It was beautiful when I got it in person. And now that I've like swatched it, I've played with it. I really, really like this. I think it's gorgeous. I think this is something that would be super easy to pull out, create various different kinds of looks. Like you can very much stick with the sage tones. You could do the pinky peach. You could do the mustard. You could do the plum. You can mix and match. All these shimmers are so beautiful as well. I feel like they all complement really nicely. I'm very impressed with this one. I gotta say, I wasn't expecting to love this color story as much as like maybe some of the other ones they've done, but... I'll say, I'm into it. <laughs> it's cute, it's retro, it's giving me kind of 60s, 70s feels, and I think this is a really fun color palette, and I feel like this is one of the ones, for me at least, that translates a whole lot better now that I have it in person than it did online. Not that I disliked it online, don't get me wrong, I thought it was cute, uh, but I didn't think I would be in love with it the way that I am, and I'm really excited about this. I'm excited to play with it some more. I'm excited to film another look for like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, all that jazz. I could potentially see myself traveling with this. I don't have any trips anytime soon, but I could see myself potentially traveling with this. I could see this making its way maybe into my autumn favorites when that time of year comes around. Um, I'm over here ready to just skip spring and summer and go straight back to Halloween spooky season. Um, but this is cute. I love the little mushroom embossings. Overall, this was a fun one. I enjoyed it. The collection as a whole, I enjoyed. Didn't love the lip lacquer so much, but for the most part, pretty darn happy with the overall collection. Again, this is launching February 27th at 10 a.m. PST, and you can use my affiliate code BADDYBEAN to save if you would like to, and I appreciate it so much. If you made it to the end of this video, leave some emojis that kind of fit the groovy garden vibe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm BaddieBean there as well. You can also subscribe. I'm posting most days over here. You can also join my channel memberships. Link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members-only video once a month. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.